I'm feeling kind of emo. No promises, I'm not gonna cry throughout this video, but like, you know. Good morning, it's the final Sunday. Technically, I check out on Tuesday. Tuesday morning, so I have like two more nights. Yeah, I just I guess we're gonna we're gonna talk about it Also, usually I I have like a side part But for some reason I'm like should I do a middle part and I really need a haircut That's the one thing I'm excited for when I go home and see get a haircut and I'm gonna do like the ankles like I normally do but so I'm like should I send it and do a middle cut and have it cut like this or side part like I normally do. So we'll see. Also, this is completely not sponsored, but they did send me these like all natural brownies from the brand Dulce. I've been obsessed with like every single flavor that I've had already. And I have yet to try this one, the Apple Spice Blondie. And the ingredients are so freaking good. They're dairy-free, gluten-free, grain-free, refined, sugar-free, soy-free, no alcohol, sugar alcohols, no palm oils. It says they're clean and gut friendly and every other flavor I've had so far is like so good and the texture is really freaking good so we're gonna taste test this one it smells really good wow that's so good <laughs> the texture is so good and smooth like look at that mmm they also have a lemon coconut one which was my favorite by far because I'm obsessed with coconut especially right now because I'm here mmm I'm just kind of like notorious for looking at everything through rose colored glasses and then like getting very attached to things because I then I get nostalgic about it like I'm like oh that was so beautiful because of XYZ last night specifically like I was like oh like I'm getting sad I don't want to leave like I feel even so attached to this space and I this has been something I've really been trying to get better on and just like better about I'm gonna do a whole podcast episode on this but basically just last night like a quote that I love is attached to nothing but connected to everything and that just gave me chills again right now like i just love it and i feel like it speaks so clearly on a lot of things and it's something that i really want to embody and keep in mind where i feel like a lot of people when they feel like they don't want to be attached they'll close themselves off and kind of get cold when that's not really what it's about it's about staying connected and everything and maintaining a connection but allowing things to come and go within their own timeline when the time is right i don't know i just i said that quote to myself last night because i was like listen you've had such an amazing time here you're so unbelievably grateful this is like everything you wanted and more you wanted to come here for two weeks take what you what you've received i guess if you will be grateful for that and like leave in peace it's kind of like when you know on halloween and they're like there's a little sign next to the candy bowl that's like only take one like and you but you still want to take the whole bowl when it's like just respect that and like understand i don't know that was a weird analogy but like that's how my brain's kind of working like don't feel the sense of entitlement or this constant like don't get in that energy where it's like you're an endless bottomless pit where nothing is satisfying you and you like need to keep, keep continue experiencing it or need to keep holding on to it like learn to be satisfied with what is and what you have received and what you've experienced and be at peace with that and allow yourself to let go and like welcome whatever is next and that's kind of what i've been trying to tell myself because if i can't do this if i'm on like a traveling kick and I want to go to a bunch of different places every time I go somewhere new I can't get emo every time I leave like <laughs> it's something that I'm working on I just I can't help it I just get attached I don't know and I do feel more at peace than I thought I would about going back to Utah so that's good I don't trust me I know what it feels like to dread going back to a place and I definitely don't feel that because I still thoroughly enjoy Utah I never didn't like that space I just kind of struggled to find friends but right now I'm going to record a podcast episode that we're gonna we have we do have things planned today we're gonna go to the North Shore okay so we're gonna enjoy the last few days though sorry that was a little bit email I finally I kind of need to get that off my chest I'm making a shake for the road blessed banana bread protein and I'm just gonna mix frozen berries because i need to use these up literally i'm determined to go try out this food truck that has acai bowls but they're like move around the island 
So I've been trying to like time them so we could actually find them. So we're gonna do that. And what's really sad is I think it's time for me to sell my surfboard because if you don't know, I basically, when I surf, I just have been using my friend Rachel's board because she has so many that she just lets me use hers because also because she's an angel. So I literally have only used my board like twice, <laughs> but they said that I could resell it when it's like time for me to leave. So I feel like I should just go do that. Also, here's a backstory about me. I grew up not really having air conditioning because my dad's house is so old. So we just could never even fit like air conditioning boxes like in the windows because the windows were like so freaking tall. Well, let me put it this way. My dad had a window air conditioner, but none of us kids did. So I'm just used to like dealing with living in a sauna when it's hot outside. Basically, long story short, my Airbnb 100% has air conditioning. I just have not used it once since being here in this whole two months. Because A, it honestly isn't that hot and muggy in here. And like when it is, I'll just turn on the fan and like I kind of can just deal with it. It's not a big deal. But last night it was like really hot. And I've like noticed the last few nights I was struggling going to sleep because I just was too hot. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to turn it on. I had the best night's sleep and I just was so comfortable. And I was like, whoa, this actually is really comfortable. So like I've gone my whole two months without AC. And now I'm like, did I really just go this whole two months and wasted my opportunity for have AC? I love like packed my dad bag for like little day trips, even though it's already 12, 15. So I'm working on a secret project. It's not anything for Liff and I'm sorry, but it's a little creative little thing that I'm making for in my personal life. I have my bathing suits and towels in this whole vicinity. Deodorant. This was also in my Airbnb that I kind of want to use. It's paint. Ideally, we're going to be able to find a picnic, not a picnic, a bench, a picnic bench. What am I? Yeah, like a park, a picnic table. <laughs> Thank you. Why is this the most depressing part of the whole process? I don't want to do this. Oh, I almost died with her. We survived a coral reef together. Okay, so we're gonna stop at a craft store to get, basically I'm making something for a friend as a gift, okay? I need to go get some supplies for it, so we're gonna try to go to this craft store, except I can't freaking find it, so it's somewhere in this vicinity. My Google Maps has really been failing me lately, I'm just gonna say it. JK, I found it was around the back. very much so a success. I just don't wanna tell you guys what it is yet because I don't know if the person I'm making this for is gonna see the video. So now we need to run to Walmart, pick up the photos to complete the gift. Sad news, we're not gonna get to the place in time to get the acai bowl from them, even though I've been tracking them down. But so now we're just gonna send it up to our shore. Definitely sweet. It's honestly is very good. I have my normal order, but it's technically like Brazilian acai. I don't really know what that means. I think it's blended with something specifically, but honestly very good. Raw honey, which is wicked good. And then my, the usuals for me, banana, blueberry, strawberry, and coconut flakes as well. You may want to take a photo of that. 
That way, okay. if you lose it, you still have the tracking number. All right, sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys, I'm like in a weird funk hay situation. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to eat again. <laughs> chug some water let me set you guys up but i just when i was in okay first of all let me backtrack the board is officially gone which i'm kind of happened so fast he like took it i was like wait do i want to do this which i kind of don't have a choice like i'm here for well okay also other announcement i'm technically staying for two more weeks because I'm gonna stay with my friend Rachel like and her family and then we're gonna go to the big island together because she's going with some of her friends so I'm going with her there and then her and I are gonna go to Kauai both only for like a little weekend trip so then I'm gonna stay with her at her house in between so technically I'm still here for two more weeks which is the good news I don't know why that took me so long to say technically I only have two more days of like my own space and everything and like two more days with this car and all that sort of stuff and since I always use her board like I know I'm gonna be with her for the next two weeks straight I just don't need my board anymore and I might as well do this now while I have my own car to be able to drive up here. Anyways, it just went so fast and I'm kind of like, I wish I surfed with it more because it just turned into room decoration. I'm like, Kona, we went through such a traumatic experience. I didn't mean to turn my back on you, but like I definitely barely used her. But then I was in there and I, the girl was trying to talk to me like I could not hold a conversation. Like she said stuff to me and I just didn't hear it. And then she had to say it to me again. I was like, what? Like I... I'm not functioning. But anyways, then mini haul. I got this visor from Roxy. And listen, I saw this like when I first got here and I didn't get it. And I kind of have been thinking about it ever since. And that's when you know like it's a purchase that was like is worth making if you like leave the store and you still think about it. And I think about it because let me tell you why. Like I wear sunglasses when I want my hair up. But then when my hair is done, I could wear a hat. But what if I want a hat without sunglasses but my hair up? So I really like this one because I just feel like I'm going to use it a lot when I'm walking. And I like that it's like a little headband type situation. Here's the visual with my hair up. Like I just think it's like kind of really really cute like with my hair up like I just like visors and then I went into rip curl because I've been wanting another pair of these shorts I live in them I got them last year and I was like I always think about how I want new colors so I got it a second pair in lavender also mini tbh I like have this weird when I feel like I'm spending a lot of money which I know this is such a privileged thing for me to say I get anxious that I'm spending money and like that's like a younger programming subconscious belief that like money is scarce like that I need to be super blah 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 meticulous with and like how I spend it which is still very true but like when I I know that I'm not just like blowing money and it's like things that I actually will want and will use and like that's a very conscious mindful choice but for some reason it still makes me anxious when I spend money. So if anyone else needs to hear that, I'm working on kind of letting go of that limiting belief around money of that it's a scarcity. Because if you have a scarcity mindset around money, money is always gonna be scarce in your life. Speaking of which, I wanna go get my dad a t-shirt. I'm really not good with gifts. I'm not a gift giver, but I got my mom something and I thought of this gift that I wanna get my dad. I only get gifts if I like, it genuinely makes me think of someone when I see it or else it's kind of like, what's the point of the gift? I show you what I got for my dad when I was walking back to the car there was a little henna stand and one of you guys asked a while back before I got here on like an Instagram question box if I'm gonna get a tattoo in Hawaii etc because I don't have any tattoos right now which I feel like they would kind of be my vibe but I'm also like then I, there's like the other part of me that's like I want to be a natural fully untouched gal but so anyways I was like now's the perfect time to like see if I would like the certain tattoos because there's definitely tattoos that I want to get that I've been like keeping private so like here's a reveal of some of the tattoos that I would maybe want to get so first thing is this lover one because my dad calls me lover and I would want it more spaced out but basically also every single one that i got in is smudged so <laughs> that's basically a representation of how my day is going of course you guys already know i'd want to get a butterfly i wouldn't necessarily get it here if this can focus but i smudged it 
So how awful is that? But it would have been so cute and it would honestly look sick with all my rings, but it's freaking smudged. And then for fun, we did a wave here and I also smudged it. So again, accurate representation of how my day's going today. I was really tempted just to completely wipe this off, but then I was like, no, I wanna get used to like if I would like some sort of ink there. I thought that she would, it totally wasn't her fault. But like, you know when you go get your nails done and like the nail tech lady will like go put your shoes back on for you, like put on your slippers. I kind of thought she was gonna do that for me, but like she didn't, but like that's okay, like I could have asked. But also like I couldn't bend this arm and then I couldn't use this hand to grab. So I kind of was at a lost cause and like that's where I just smudged everything. I really have no clue how I even managed to smudge this, but I did. I thought that was the only one that was safe. And I looked down and I was like, all right, great. But then for my dad, there's like a vintage t-shirt shop where they have like vintage shirt designs and it says Ski Hawaii, which I know doesn't make sense, but on the big island, there's like an area where you can ski. And my dad is like an absolute skiing fiend. We basically all live in Utah now. And so I got him this to wear like in the summer months in Utah because in the summer he'll come to like water ramp, which basically is like he'll go off a big ramp and to jump into a pool to practice his ski jumps. So this could be like his summer season short, you know what I mean? But like still be in the ski vibe. made this entire trip worthwhile and has been responsible for 90% of my enjoyment while being here. I'm making her a little scrapbook of all of our adventures and just photos together. I printed out like 70 photos from Walmart. I have a bunch of stickers and cool paper and things like that and some little deco tape and I'm just gonna make her, maybe I'm gonna paint I'm not a painter, so don't like, but like little designs. Yeah, I just think it's gonna be really cute. It's gonna be like an adventure book because ever since like I told her this a little bit ago, like I feel like, you know, the movie Up where they have the like adventure book. That's always what I felt like with Rachel and I when we would take photos because I always say she's like my love story, but like platonically, it's like I thought that I would come here and find like fall in love with a boy and it would be this romantic thing. But I came here and had a, you know, love story with a best friend, so. <laughs> camera dies we're gonna go get ice cream because why not and I've been wanting to try this spot it's completely homemade forgetting my key and I think that's gonna give me the classic ice cream that I've been wishing for Good classic. 